Lawak. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. What is up, guys? Fahan here. Today I'm with Fadil. Fadil, and we are here in Motoplex, the home of some of the brands that you may know, but also especially Triumph. And today they are not launching lah. They're actually having a preview for us. The Triumph 400 mm. X Scrambler and Street. So we're gonna have a look lah. Okay, guys. I know that this is a Triumph uh, bike preview, but we gotta check this out. We got a Ducati Street Fighter Lamborghini Edition, which is like I don't know. I think they made a few of this, and I'm seeing one for the first time in front of my eyes right now. Wow, the color, the green color, looks pretty sweet, eh? I cannot believe that I'm seeing this limited edition bike over here right now. Also, just to give a bit of background, why that Ducati has a Lamborghini edition bike is because. Uh, Ducati themselves, they are owned by Volkswagen, in which Volkswagen also owns Lamborghini as well. Okay lah, your height. Your height very suitable. Yeah, it's you see, it's very empty you, here. You are, oh yeah, because there's no IU. <laughs> Wait for the IU. IU, you need Alamak, to put OBU. OBU. Okay, you're you flat footed on the ground. No? Knee still bad. How how tall are you? Uh, one eight zero. <laughs> Confirm for me, I'm the towing one. I, I don't know why. We have to find out whether. There's a height difference or not? Mm, I think there's height difference. Yeah. Given that this is an off roader, like this is higher. higher. Yeah. Maybe I try and see. Much taller. Much taller. See, the, the legs is legs are not bent as much. Mm. Yeah, but whatever it is, I think it's suitable for you. Uh. Uh, it suits you more. Uh. All I need is just a speed. Everything is like uh. yeah. Comes with this uh, handlebar, yeah, what is it? Brace, brace uh, with the padding. Mm, looks like a brace, uh, sure. Yeah, giving the off-road bikes. Eh? I mean, it is an off-roader, uh, semi off-road tires. Yeah. Mirrors go out. Mm. Do you think they will have crash bars? I think they will. For Knowing Triumph, uh. crash bar, saddle back, one side back. Uh, one day, uh, it's enough for one day trip. So today I'm with Alphonse once again. Hello. Here from Triumph. And then after that, uh, he's going to show us about the two bikes, uh, which I also forget the name. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. So we start with this uh, All right. scrambler. So right here we have the Speed Scrambler 400X. So the 400 is actually the newest lineup to the Triumph family. So right here we got the 400X, it's boasting 39.5 horsepower. So seat height you're looking at 835 which is slightly higher for most 2A bikes but it being a scrambler style totally suits the height. So the front you're rocking a 19 inch rim and the rear you're rocking a 17. So very scrambler like style. Yeah. Yeah. So what's very cool about this is for its price point, you're actually getting a upside down fork and a bribery calipers which is a family of Brembo yes, correct and it's a real vibrary brake as well yeah. Yeah, I noticed uh, this is something that Fadil pointed out yes the chin right side no? correct yeah. and only that it has dual uh, yes so the scrambler actually has a different exhaust setup than the speed actually if you go on the Triumph website there is a high performance exhaust which I believe we might not be able to see in Singapore, but that's for the future, the future news. Yep. Off-road mode also. Eh? Correct. Yeah. So I can show you the dash. So it's an analog mixed LCD dash yeah, right over here. Yeah. Yep. Back to basics kind of thing. Correct. So you've got all your basic information. And yeah. one, of course, you have your gear indicator over here. Well, RPM meter, and then your fuel, how many KMs you have yeah. over here. Okay. So basic information over here, you got traction control and off-road over here. So if we hold down the button over here, mm -hmm. we turn on the off-road mode. So off-road mode means traction control is Traction off? control is off, that's right. ABS? ABS is off as well. Oh wow. 
somebody wants to <laughs> go off-road with it. But I'm yet to, because this is unregistered yet, I'm yet to test it. So for me to actually give an accurate representative of Singapore riding, mm. I would say you have to give us a bit of time to ride the bike or actually there will be demo bikes soon available mm. at our showroom. So from there on, you guys can actually come down and test the bike and see how you like it yourself. Guys, if you want to try, come down to Gilman Barracks, look for Elf Fawn. Yeah. So I'm 168, I can hop on the bike and show you how tall it looks like oh, on me. Okay. Yeah. So this is with my two foot. I'm tiptoed. But if I put one side down, almost flat foot. Almost flat foot. Yeah. So for it being 835, I think it's very acceptable for a 2A bike. I still do feel comfortable on it as well. Yeah. Not to mention within its price point, if you were to look at the front, mm. you got very beautiful lights over here as well. Yeah. Daytime running lights and normal running lights. Uh, yeah, so I start the bike for you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, come. I show you a very cool feature. Okay. So right now we are on daytime running lights as the indicator. So you can see from the front is using the daytime running lights. Yeah, right, okay. right. So watch as I switch to normal running lights. The screen wow. actually dims down for you. Oh yeah. Correct. Oh wow, yeah. Correct. So it's less harsh at night. Lah. Yeah, correct. So it's easy for your eyes. Easier for you to see at night. Yeah. And then of course the plus point is hazard, which might seem something so simple, but a lot of bikes are actually still missing out hazard lights. True, mm. true. So I think it's a very nice feature to have as well. Yeah. Other than that, everything is pretty basic. Bar brace also? Correct. This comes as standard. This comes as standard as well, yeah, which is something... Grill. Yeah, correct. Grill. Headlight grill. So it's something you might usually see as an add-on option on the higher tier Triumph bikes. All fitted onto this bike already. So hand guards. Correct. As well as a sum guard at the bottom as well. Right here, we have the Triumph 400, Speed 400. Yes, there's actually bigger brothers of this. So this being the smallest in the family, the Speed 400. There is the Speed 900 and then the Speed 1200 as well. Correct, but the only difference is the two other bigger brothers, they're actually called the Speed Twin because it's twin cylinder. As for this, it's single cylinder. Functions wise, they are about the same as that. But one very big difference to the Scrambler is that on the speed, there's actually no option to turn on off-road mode. But there is only one option, which is to turn off the traction control. Whereas on the Scrambler, when you turn on the off-road mode, it completely disabled the traction control and ABS, both front and rear. Yeah, giving you that extra confidence, or some people actually like to turn off the traction control, which honestly, I like it as well when I go off-road. Don't want the, in the electronics to interfere with you while you're on the off-road, right? Of course, definitely. Right, so this one, you're rocking a 17-inch front and 17-inch rear. So exactly the same front and rear. Standard tires. Huh? Correct. So stock tires, what, what did they came with? Okay, sometimes they might come with different tires based on the factory. So whereas I saw the original one uh, based on the website on UK and uh, my manager, Mafu, saw it. It actually comes with the Rotex RR, Metzler's Rotex. Rotec R, sorry, R, Rotec R. And this one is running the Diablo 3, if I'm not mistaken. Diablo, Diablo Rosso 3, Diablo yes. Okay. Yeah, but the Rotec, the Metzler's Rotec R is actually a very great tyre as well. Mm, very similar. Apart from its cosmetic design, that being Scrambler, there's also one thing that is a lot different is that you realise that on the speed, it comes with just a single seat. Oh yeah, a single bench seat. Correct, single bench seat, which there is option for a quilted brown seat as well. So you can give it the cafe look, the cafe old school look, yeah. correct. So if you notice on the scrambler, it's actually two separate seats here as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, just notice that. Correct. I notice the exhaust is also different. Yes, exhaust is Sorry. different as well. <laughs> yes, actually I noticed that straight away is that the scrambler actually sounds a lot deeper than the speed. So, yeah again, I'll hop on the bike and then I'll show you how I look like on this. So this one, the seat height is 790 millimeters, which is shorter than the scrambler for sure fitting its streets purpose so this one is a lot more comfortable both sides if i put down i'm almost half almost to flat foot and then if i tilt it slightly very slightly i'm already flat foot already so i'll say this is actually to me it feels exactly like the super four just slightly higher which super four a lot of riders in singapore actually can ride yeah the problem for me is that i'm a very short rider 
but both bikes perfect height for me depending on which one you're more comfortable and which one you favor more so we got the same dash correct okay. it's on the scrambler but like you say like, there's no off-road mode correct yeah only traction control over here traction control, so yeah. if i can turn off the traction control right off, over here yeah. off, huh? bad, huh? so there's no bar brace on this correct but I think because it's more of a street kind of thing. Eh? Yes. Yeah, but definitely the design language itself ties to its. Uh, Correct. Uh, so uh, they, they try to follow the style of the bigger brother. So Triumph Modern Classic, usually we have the style where there is a cover on top of the keyhole, just like so. So on the 400 series, it's not a fully detachable cap on the other Modern Classic, but oh. it's a flip cap. Yeah. But, give, but still maintaining the look. Huh? Correct. Oh, and I also forget to mention that they are both 13 litre tank. 13 litre for both the speed and the scrambler. Average fuel consumption reported by owners are 30 and above. Of course, fuel consumption might differ based on your riding style. Of course, stop, 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 stop traffic and highway riding both are different as well. Correct. So the prices for the Scrambler X is 15,000 before COE and insurance only. Full stop. And on the speed, it is 1K cheaper at 14,000 before COE and insurance only. Mm. So when I meant by insurance and COE only is ARF, all the taxes, everything is included in the total price. So just your COE and insurance, the bike's yours. Yeah. Triumph, uh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> the warranty is international. International love. Isn't it? Yes. Can so say that for the first two years only. Why I say that? Because Triumph actually comes standard with a two years warranty package. But here in Singapore, Triumph by Didi, we actually have a four years package. Four years, four years, four four years, years. package. So what's included in the four years, you may ask. Okay, so four years warranty, of course, covers your engine and electronics wise wow. basics. As long as you don't do any modification to your bike, including of cutting the cable, doing any mod engine modifications. Engine mods, huh? yeah, Correct. And now we move on to the part of servicing. So, servicing actually includes everything such as your engine oil, oil filter, wow. air filter, and stuff like that, wow. your basic and full servicing. So, you might be asking, hey, Alfon, got any gimmick? Yeah, gimmick? No gimmick at all. I think that's the question that we ask. Confirm got gimmick lah. Hey, what if I one year can service 10 times? Please, we welcome you to try. Even more, even better. Serious lah. Even yeah. better. Unlimited mileage from date of registration. Four years, unlimited mileage as well. That being aside, what is not covered in the servicing package? Wear and tear is not covered in servicing package, such as common things as your gear, uh, sorry, not gear, your chain, chain, chain loop. your chain, your brake pads, your sprockets, Tire. all these, yeah, tyres, these are all the basic, Consumables, yeah, wear and tear items, correct. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And you will be pleased to hear the next part is that valve clearance is actually included in the servicing package. So valve oh clearance God, is you, free you, for the next four years. You guys think about it, uh, at, what was the price, 15,000? 15, 15 and 14,000. Let's say we take 15, eh? then you add in uh, 9K COE at time of recording. So that comes up to what? 24? 24,000 for 10 years. Uh, servicing free for 10 years. How much do you save? Good deals, yeah? If every, if, if you service every month, uh, let's say conservatively, uh, we say every month, uh, one time you change oil and whatnot. How much do you save? Wow, good deal, sir. You save a lot. Yeah, so I hope I answered the questions, whether there's any gimmick, and hope I answered a lot of people's questions. Please, we do honor the warranty. Now, now, now I want to buy Triumph. <laughs> we welcome bye, bye, you to bye. buy Triumph. Bye. Later, you'll be having tea and little, little sandwiches every day. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you, Alphonse, once again for sharing. Eh? No problem. Really thank you, Fahan. And of course, guys, if you are into Triumph or you want to try your hand, or maybe you want to buy the bike that way, just get in touch with my man here. <laughs> iPhones, huh? Thank you so much, oh, man. You're too kind. Here at Motoplex, eh? Dempsey Hill. Oh, uh, Motoplex is actually that side. So this whole oh. area right here is called the Southern Depot. Oh, the Southern Depot. The Southern Depot, Depot by DD. Yeah, ah. so this side is actually the Triumph Motorcycle Singapore showroom. And then like you mentioned, Motoplex, we have Motoplex on the other end. So we mm. share the same building because here at DD, we're actually a distributors of of these brands mentioned. <laughs> even Olin's, uh, Motorex, oh even our newly introduced Mondraker bicycles now. Oh, 
yeah, oh, I fun fact. Mm. You know what's good about Mondraker or what they have in common in motorcycles? No. Mark Marquez and his brother are actually riding Mondraker. Oh, it's their main mountain off-road bike. Thank so you. if you go on the Mondraker website, you can see Mark Marquez and his brother on the homepage. They are the riders for Mondraker. Wow. Alright guys, so for us, the media, we are having a one week early preview for us. They are officially launching the bike next week, which I won't attend because I'll be away overseas. Anyway, uh, glad to see uh, both the 400 series, the Speed and the Scrambler uh, first hand here in Singapore and hopefully we'll get to do an ultimate review on it. Once again, Triumph, thank you so much for uh, inviting us and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>